Ooh, a really tart this morning. Hmm. Interesting. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Be Inspired. It is exactly, it's exactly 7 o'clock. Yes, it is. <laughs> Today's topic is, you always hear me say, don't get jacked for your income tax. Well, usually, you know, we pass that season, the cuffing season back in November, December, where people want to get booed up because they know it's about to be tax time so they can go ahead and get their little money, okay? Well, I don't want y'all to get jacked for your income tax, not because of that we, um, the reason I uh, mentioned it, don't get jacked from your income tax, not from the fellas only. Good morning, Kev. Look who here. I heard that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Lynette. Yes, yes, yes. Get this out the way, but I don't want to take too much of your time. And this is kind of long, <clears throat> excuse me, but we'll talk about it on the show tomorrow. Shop Talk with Mel. You can catch it on Facebook. I'm trying to figure some things out where I can try to go live as well, but you can go to Spreaker.com and catch all those shows. And also, good morning, Ayana, Regina, on my YouTube channel. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get all the Be Inspired and all the shows and you can listen to them. But if you want to kick it with us live, I get the number to you guys on tomorrow. You could call in and do what you do. You know what I mean? So back to this real quick. Don't get jacked for your income tax. And the reason I say don't get jacked for your income tax, sometimes you feel overwhelmed, especially with the holidays passing, Christmas, you run those credit cards all the way up. And you're like, okay, well, my goal this year for the responsible people and you don't take your income tax and say, okay, I'm going to go um, buy a car, give me some rims, go do whatever it is. Good morning, Helen. Uh, get new furniture because you do have people that get new furniture every single year. Okay. So if you don't know what to do with your income tax and you're like, mm, what should I do? I'm tired of being in debt. I'm going to pay off all my bills. Now me personally, that is what I do. Good morning, Cherie. That is what I do. My gas, my electric, boom, start all over because it's coming. Okay. Or you can just pay your bills monthly, pay like a certain amount, not the amount that's due, you know, over the amount. Then that way it doesn't hit you too hard, especially with how, with how cold it was these last few days. But let me tell you this. So I don't want you to fret and feel like, oh man, if I'm getting... Let's just say one of the average people, I'm getting about 2,000 back, 3,000, not to seven to 10,000 because we, you know, we be like, what? But anyway, say you get like 2,000, 3,000. Okay, I don't know why they keep doing that. I must have a timer on there. So you get that amount back and you're like, okay, well, I want to pay off my debt and get my credit score up. Don't fret and, and then feel like I don't even have nothing to buy myself nothing with. I got you. I just want to, hey, good morning, Chrissy. I just want to let you guys know this in case you don't know, because I know y'all probably know, but if y'all don't know, I'm here to tell you and I want you to research it. How do I, I just got to keep it real. Listen, those collectors that be calling you, you don't have to pay them back. You don't have to pay them because they have to prove that that is your debt. Okay. <laughs> y'all hear me? I'm just giving you my opinion. Don't go looking for me debt collectors. And these are the collectors, collections. Let's say if you have, um, because you don't have a contract with them and I'm going to do this really, really fast. Good morning, Deron. You don't have a contract with the person that bought the debt. So let's say, um, whew, uh, okay. Something simple like, okay, a cell phone. So say you got a cell phone and we know we pay our cell phone cause we need ours, but them young people, they'd be like, what? Get change your number all the time. The cell phone companies. So you signed a contract with that cell phone company. And let's say you don't pay, you get another phone. What in the world? You can still record, but oh, come on. It keep going. What is going on? Come on. Am I in a bad spot? I'm sorry. I must be in a bad spot. Good morning, Britt Britt. Okay, I, I just picked it up. I must be in a bad spot in the studio. So anyway, uh, they charge those off. And then they sell those debts to collectors. So say if you owed $400 and they sell that debt for $40. And then those people are constantly calling you. Listen, when they call on a recorded line and they ask you if you, who, if you are who you are, like, hey, is this Jane Doe? Guess what? They called you. You could say, who's this? 
And what they need to, okay, good. Thanks, Sheree. What they need to get, and that's why it's always on a recorded line. They need to get you to say you are who you are. Okay. Now, once they get to say you are who you are, there are so many different people with the same name. So they don't know if that's actually your debt. You could deny that debt. You know, I'm, I'm just keeping it real with you. You could deny that debt. Or you have the people that call you be like, is this so-and-so? Excuse me, you called me. So you should know who you're calling. Don't ever admit to the fact that it's you. And once you admit to the fact that it is you, that's when they can go after you legally. Okay, because they bought that debt. But like I gave you the example, $400 um, was charged off. Okay, and then they in turn buy the debt for $40 and then you pay or trying to pay it off because you got your income tax. You feeling like, hey, big money grip, I got this. You pay it. They making how much money? 360 off of you. And guess what? Your credit score goes nowhere because it still remains the same because it's still a, a negative debt. So I just want to let you know, try to invest in something, <laughs> uh, invest in something. You know, pay your bills. Yes, 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 pay your bills. I want you to do that. But just know when those debt collectors, they harass you, all you have to do, you know, I got to tell y'all, y'all my people. All you have to do, don't admit to the debt. Once you say you are who you are, they have you on a recorded line, then they can go after you legally and talk about, we're going to take you to court. We're going to do this and that. You did not sign a contract with that individual. Okay. And usually there is... I don't really know, like in different places, like maybe like a five year, seven year check with your state, because I know a lot of you guys are watching from all over. Check with your state to see what the time limit is. Get a copy of your credit report. Dispute those. You don't even have to pay like the um, the credit restorations. You can. They out to make money, too. But if you have the time. You could just go through, write letters. This is not my debt. It has to be removed. If there's something on there, like it's 2019 from Good Morning Rick, if it's something out there, Good Morning Rob or Edge, whoever it is, if it's something that is past five years or seven years, you could call, boom, that needs to be removed from your credit report. You know what I'm saying? Fix your credit and invest in something that, invest in yourself. That's it. Invest in yourself. Don't allow them to harass you. Okay. Remember back in the day, somebody called, boom, you could say wrong number because, and also I want to tell you this, they have a certain time limit too. So say if you had, we did that like cell phone company or whatever. So you got that cell phone company that you had way back 10 years ago. It's probably out. I, th I want to say it's five years. I'm not for certain. So I want you guys to do your research too. But if it's on there and you get a letter, a collection letter, read it, read it. Uh, let me come back here because I think I'm the bad section in here. Read the bottom in the fine print. It's small. Read those letters. I know you look at it and be like, I don't owe this. Boom and tear it up. At the bottom, there's a little part that says you are not obligated to pay. Read the entire letter because after so long, they can't be harassing you. They can't. And remember, once you admit it, then it is yours and they can take legal action. So when people call you and you don't know who it is, they're like, is this so-and-so? Like, oh, who are you? That's me. Who's this? Because I do. I be getting them calls too, okay? I'm like, who's this? Is this so-and-so? Who's this? What do you want? And what happens is they get frustrated and they say something like, um, this is an attempt to collect a debt. I was like, you got the wrong number. As long as they don't have you recorded, okay? As long as they don't have you recorded, bye. And then most of the time, it's not even yours because like I said, some people share the same name and it's somebody else and they're just trying to get it paid and they're trying to get a come up. That's why those collection agencies are around. Now, if you are my people and an entrepreneur and said, you know what I'm getting ready to do? I'm getting ready to capitalize on this credit stuff. A collection agency. I'm going to give me my own collection agency. I just gave you some tips so you could go into it because, you know, they get people. Because if you don't know, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, ah, bought that thing. The company done charged it off, charged off $400. You bought that debt for $40 and you about to make $360 because some people just don't know. 
So that's what I wanted. That's why I wanted to share with you guys and let you know, don't get frustrated. Be inspired. Don't get frustrated. Don't get jacked for your income tax. Everybody coming at you and they know. And also, if you're trying to buy a car, listen, <sighs> that is what we do. We go, we get a lump sum of money. We can do a down payment to go and buy a car. We go to these car dealerships. We buy used cars. We don't know that's somebody else's problem. I'm not okay with that. I'm not buying a used car to pay a car note to, to pay for somebody else's problems and you don't know what it is. So now you got this car note and you have to fix the problem. So that's why I wanted to share this information with you so that you can build your credit and then you can make a car payment on a new car, which will be just your problems, okay? Not saying that they don't have any, but at least it'll be under warranty. But to make a car note on a used car is an issue. Now, if you want to take, if you're one of those people that get like 10 Gs, you know what I'm saying, for your uh, uh, tax return, more power to you. I'm happy for you. I am not hating. Go ahead, do your thing, okay? Just if you're going to buy a used car, just buy a used car. Then that way you don't have to buy the used car and then, or pay, put a down payment on a used car, then have a car note and have to pay for it if something, you know, were to happen. So that's why I decided to do this, be inspired, don't get jacked for your income tax and have you guys invest in yourself and correct your own issues and write those letters, get a copy of your credit report. It can't be on there. I, I Don't quote me on it. Check and see. I want you guys to check and see what it is in your state. But I think it's like five to seven years. And if it's over that amount, they have to remove it. Dispute everything. I said it. My opinion. Dispute everything on your credit report. Except what you have. So if you got a car note and you're paying a new car note, you know that's yours. Quit playing. Okay? Do that. Your current stuff, but that other stuff, dispute it. You can't dispute student loans. You sign that, that's a contract, and they ain't selling it, okay? They're not going to sell that debt. They're not going to charge it off. You will owe a student loan for the rest of your life, and you know the student loan, they will jack you for your income tax if you don't pay on it. So, for my people who do have student loans out there and you did not pay, you might want to call and get a deferment. So, call them and say, hey, I need a deferment. Whatever it is, if you're in school, they'll go ahead and do a deferment. If you don't have enough money, they'll do the deferment. If you have to pay like $25 a month, just do what it is you have to do so they don't jack you for your income tax because you will go and you think you're going to the rapid refund places. Boom, swipey, taking your taxes, all right? And you'll be like, oh, what just happened? So, my people, that is what I have for you today. Don't get jacked for your income tax. Know this. If the collector is calling you, get on their nerves. <laughs> Play the game with them. They calling you. You looking like bill collector. I ain't answering you. Oh, up there. I keep going back. And I'm like, ah, in a bad spot. You just don't have to actually answer. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Marie. <laughs> And that is my time. You don't have to answer or you can play with them and say, who's this? Who's this? Never admit, sorry guys, never admit to, never admit to a debt from a collector. Because remember, the company already charged it off, so it's already a negative. No sense in getting a double negative because in this, two negatives don't make a positive. It's just a double negative and your credit score is going to go psh down. So we don't want that to happen. I love you guys for listening. That is my time. Like I said, I won't keep you long tomorrow on Shop Talk with Mail. We are going to go into great detail about this. And if you have any questions, y'all already know, you could call me, you could keep inboxing me. You can, at the bottom of Spreaker.com, you can actually ask questions and we can kick it and have some fun because you already know hot topics, Rugo the movie guy saying, you know, telling us what's going on. We'll do our topic, which don't get jacked for your income tax is our topic for tomorrow. You know, music and much more good things. That's what we do. We want to laugh. Okay. So don't forget to laugh today. Have a great day and check into this information. It's not false information, but go into it a little more. You know what I mean? If you want to know, know and share, 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 share. That's it, my people. I love you. I love you. I love you for listening. Find you, embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you and invest in you. All right. Invest in you. Love you for listening. And please follow me on all socials, meaning Instagram, Twitter.
Twitter, uh, Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shop Talk with Mel. I love you for listening. Peace. Share some good news with somebody today. All right. Have a great weekend. Peace.